all this emphasis upon black man and white does emphasize something which is here, but it emphasizes it or perhaps exaggerates it, and therefore makes us for, uh, put people together in groups which they ought not to be in. I have more in common with a, a black scholar than I have with a white man who's against scholarship. And you have more in common with a white author than you have with someone who's against all literature. So why must we always concentrate on color or on religion or this? There are other ways of connecting men. I'll tell you this. When I left this country in 1948, I left this country for one reason only, one reason. I didn't care where I went. I might have gone to Hong Kong. I might have gone to Timbuktu. I ended up in Paris on the streets of Paris. With $40 in my pocket on the theory that nothing worse could happen to me there than it already happened to me here. You talk about making it as a writer by yourself, you had to be able then to turn off all the antenna with which you live because once you turn your back on this society, you may die. You may die. And it's very hard to sit at a typewriter and concentrate on that if you're afraid of the world around you. The years I lived in Paris did one thing for me. They released me from that particular social terror, which was not the paranoia of my own mind, but a real social danger.